So tell me why the premier credit card then shut down my card. I disputed a balance, okay? I disputed $6 because I just made a $400 payment and there should not be anything. The utilization should be zero, not 2%, period. So I went ahead and disputed them through Experian. So when I called, I tried to go into my account on Saturday and my account stated that I couldn't get in. So I'm looking like, why well, I can't get in? So when I called them, I asked them, you know, hey, yeah, I disputed the balance or whatnot and whatever. I can't get into my account. Oh, well, we reported it as fraud because that's the way that the letter came back. Well, that's the way that the system brought it back to us from Experian. So you have to call Experian. What? So here we go. I call Experian. I'm like, hey, you know, the way that y'all got this report into Premier is stating that it was fraud. It was not fraud. That is me. So I need y'all to go ahead and correct that. Oh, well, we need something from them, from Premier, stating that it belongs to you. But Premier already has said that they sent it back stating that that was me. So I'm looking like, wait a minute here. I just gave y'all 400 and something dollars of my motherfucking money. And you telling me I can't use my shit? Y'all got the game. So Premier said that I have to call Experian back and Experian need to send them a letter stating that it's not fraud. Like these consumer reporting agencies, they all in cahoots with each other and they all playing games. Don't trust none of them. None of them. And this is why people don't get credit cards. This is why people don't get auto loans. And I'm going to tell you all about this auto loan in a minute.